Lint, Swiss premium chocolate with hazelnuts made in Switzerland versus Les Grandes, hazelnut lint chocolate made in Switzerland. What the heck? It's the same thing. No, one has more. Which one has more? I forgot. That one has 15% hazelnuts. 15%. This one has 34% hazelnuts. Way more nutty. So if you like nuts, this is one for you. This one is $7 full price at Woolworths. This one, Lint sells it for sixteen fifty at the Lint shop, but it's also about $13 at Foodland. So awkward, this one. So, the big one is double the size of the small one. 150 grams versus 300 grams. So they're about the same price, really. So let's see which one's better. So you reckon this one is better because it's this, premium? This one's premium and it's in gold wrapping. Yeah, it, but this one, this grande is... That means, like, very, very grand. Quality guarantee. Swiss made. Now, some of the cheaper lint chocolates made in Germany... So this is technically better. Better. Because Switzerland has less production space than Germany. So if they bother to make it there, it's like in Japan. It's like snacks made in Japan are better than Japanese Ooh. snacks that aren't made in Japan. Silver for you. Oh, golden and silver. Yeah. We're ready. I'm gonna have to rip it. No resealing this one. Once you start, okay, you'll probably you eat, have the whole to eat the whole lot. Cocoa solids, thirty-one percent minimum. Milk solids, twenty percent. What's this one? Cocoa solids, thirty-four percent minimum. Milk solids, fourteen percent. So this one's more cocoa, less milk. This one's more milk, less cocoa. We should be able to taste the difference, being chocolate connoisseurs and all. Oh, these are smaller. Oh, it's already a favourite. Winner, winner, and no need to taste. Why are smaller better? You love smaller serves. I thought you would like bigger ones. But look, at, look at that big nut. Look at that. Look at those nuts in there. You look at these nuts too. <laughs> I try not to look at everybody's nuts. That's inappropriate. You sound like you want to check out everyone's nuts. Ah, uh, yeah, rip it out, off. Check out my nuts. <laughs> oh yeah, they, they kind of shiny. Well, this one I've had sitting around for about a year. I had it since last year. It's gone through a forty-two degree what? Adelaide summer. So you ruined it. Maybe. Maybe it's not a fair fight. Maybe it is. We'll see. But they look the same from the. From the top there. All right, we'll start with the grand and not so premium. Well, same, same. First impression, not bad. That's good texture. I like the big bits of nut. Hmm, very good. If you want a lot of hazelnuts, this is it. It's like hazelnut city there. 34% nuts in your mouth. Mm. <laughs> Linda seems to be enjoying herself privately. I don't need to say anything. <laughs> your nuts. Okay. Well, what about what about this one? Less, I less say, nuts. I like, I like lots of nuts in my mouth. Yeah, you do. Alright. So I've heard. <laughs> Cheers. Oh. More chocolate texture there. A bit harder. Yeah. And less nuts. No, it's good. And the nuts aren't as quite as fresh either. That could be my fault. Because they aren't as fresh. No, I like a really nutty chocolate. After the other one, this one's not enough nuts. The nuffier one is actually easier to eat it's like softer because it's you're chewing through the nuts whereas this one it's like a hard slab of chocolate mm -hmm. which i like but the hazelnut one was really nice i think usually in my head i would prefer the more chocolate less nuts but that nutty one was really nice 
That was much better. This one's too much chocolate. Sticking everywhere. Yeah. Well, there you go. I've always wanted to compare them though, because this one's been around, I reckon it's been around my whole life. And set as the premium of the premium mint chocolate. Whereas, you know, we can't all afford this all the time. But yes, it's now I can downgrade to this one for cheaper. Downgrade. Can you just say that they're basically the same price? Yeah, but I mean, every time you have to spend $13 on this chocolate, or if you go to the lint shop, $16.50. Whereas you can go to Woolworths and get this for $5.40 on special. So it's actually one third the price if you go to Woolworths on special. Jeez. Look, nuts everywhere. Loose nuts. Put that in your mouth, quick. What? This? Don't mind if I do. And I like this one. Yep. It is nice. See, it's so nice I went back to get more. I know, usually Linda is done with chocolate as soon as she has like a piece she's done, but here... This is nice. I didn't even tell her to do that, she did it voluntarily. Cute. She needed to get the chocolate taste out of her mouth by eating more chocolate. No, by eating more nuts. With chocolate. You know, it's still like 66% chocolate. I know. This is a nice nut oh, to chocolate ratio. The texture is so much better. Mm -hmm. It's so much easier to chew through. It's like half as soft. So if you've got sensitive teeth or weak teeth, this one's easier. Even though it's got more nut. Ready for a rating? Well, I'm thinking about all the chocolates we've had recently. You're probably my favourite one. Wow. Does it get better than this, Mr. I Love Chocolate and Chocolate is the Best? This is pretty good. Technically, price-wise, it does get a lot more expensive for some chocolates. But this is Swiss made chocolate, both of them. So you can't get a much better country that chocolate comes from. Swiss made is the premium country that chocolate sourced from usually. Some people would say Belgian chocolate, your seashells come from Belgium. But I think Swiss chocolate's pretty good, pretty up there. This is my new favorite chocolate. This, this one she's saying. Mm -hmm. So, what rating would you give that? Well, now that I've given the other ones 10, I can't give this a 10, can I? 10 and a half. <laughs> <laughs> so, you surprised me. I thought you were going somewhere else with that. Why, why did you deduct a half point from your 11? Well, because I never want to go over 11 unless it's like blowing my mind but I don't think chocolate will ever blow my mind that much. I told you this is the midnight snack channel so we can go to 12. So yeah, yeah I know if it's, but if it's really like whoa 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 like beer. Ten and a half. Ten and a half pretty good. What about its Swiss brother here? Eight. Switzerland don't be too disappointed the gold one only got an eight, and the silver one got a ten and a half. Linda obviously doesn't know her colours very well. What are you doing? But you're not rating it the other way around. Nine for this one. I like more chocolate, but this one, I'll have to give it a ten. Oh, you gave it a ten. Pretty good. It's very good. Pretty enjoyable, and the nuts are fresh. I think I only just bought this. I can't remember, I've bought so much chocolate lately that I can't exactly remember, but I think this was quite, that could be the difference as well. This, I think I've bought this in the last three weeks. This one I bought about a year ago. So <laughs> could make a difference in the freshness factor that this one's had to survive through a 42 degree Adelaide summer and this one's just been purchased in winter. Yes, but it won't have more nuts in it though. <laughs> so. All right, everyone, Linda likes having nuts in her mouth and that, 
is the deciding factor. More nuts factor. the better. So if you can yeah. find another chocolate that has more nuts, I'd probably okay. give it more than a 10 and a half. 34% minimum nuts. We're looking for 35 plus nuts. Okay. Yeah. If you know of a chocolate right. that has more nuts, comment below. More nuts, please. More nuts on the channel. Get your nuts in. Send your nuts in, everybody. <laughs> right. Goodbye. Bye.